good morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut. I got Patrick out here putting signs out for me, and we're set up in this beautiful neighborhood of fine homes. We got this big old swinging cape to do today. I gotta go up on the roof there, get the dormer size, stuff like that. And we're going around back and starting on the porch, and we'll show you what's going on. All right, so whenever I'm doing this kind of thing, I like to start always by spraying in on the railings from the ground so you can get that lip underneath where it's always black. This is what the homeowner is going to see when they're down here doing their yard work and mowing. They're going to drive by, they're going to look up, and they're going to see all the schmook on the bottom of the rail. So we always want to make sure that we're hitting that. And I like to spray out first, or excuse me, in first on these projects. And then I'm going up on the deck and it will be spraying out. And that seems to be, for me, the most efficient way to do things. Okay, we've already checked to see what's up on the deck. There's no sneakers up there or anything like that. We've got a nice vinyl picnic table and a covered grill, which we've talked about with the homeowner. Anything that's in my way gets washed, okay? He's also got these canoes and stuff underneath, and I'll be spraying all of those just for good measure to clean any mildew off of things because, you know, everything has mildew on it. Whether you think it does or not, it does. All right, so here's the money shot on this one. That's the big issue back here. This whole gutter is nasty. And we got that AC right there. So we're just not gonna put water right directly there. That's all we can do. We gotta get SH all up there and let it work. We'll do the best we can. Oh no, I soaked top to bottom. It's never gonna work now. All right, this is why we get paid the big bucks. There's no getting this from the ground. So we climb up the crook of the roof. Okay, I'll be taking this moss down and everything while I'm here. Right? All right, we got Patch on final rinse mode. Hitting the garage, then he has that right hand side over there to rinse. It is five past nine. We got here at eight and absolutely cranked this. This is fairly complex. I had to go up that crook of the roof to get that side I showed you. Then I had to scoot along here and get between these dormers. This is really, really nasty up in there and I wasn't able to get it down from the ground so I had to kind of catwalk along here. Uh, sketched me a little bit, but we got it done. Looking really good. All right, here's my final product on that gutter line up there. Those look brand new. And underneath the lip, like I'm telling you guys, that's the first thing the customer sees when they're walking around and mowing because they got this, this angle, this perspective. They walk along, they see that. I'm going to go check out the water real quick while Patrick finishes rinsing for me. All right, that was probably seven, maybe eight gallons of SH to wash that whole building. One hour, 15 minutes, wrapped up, done, diggity. Dude just gave me a $70 tip. Are you kidding me? All right, we're at the gas station, overfilling the auxiliary tank, bonehead. Anyway, yeah, all ask me how we get jobs, right? You see the rig? You see the lettering on the rig? All right, dude, on this pump, takes my card, sending me some pictures later, get a house wash while we're getting gas. All right, Patrick and I are almost set up on the next project, another quick, easy, vinyl-sided cape with the extended garage. It is quite dirty, however, up in the crooks uh, on the drip Let's see, what, what should I be calling that, I suppose? On the trough right there, okay? Covered with lichen. So we're gonna be placing the 16 foot ladder right here so I can go up and be aggressive. We've got snail tracks all over everything, which I love. I love snail tracks. So pretty. 
okay? This side, same thing. Roof is filthy right at the trough and there's nastiness all stuck in there. So, you know, we can sit here and soap all day if we want, but if we just put the 16 foot ladder right here, I can go up there and tear that out real fast. It's just easier to use the ladder, okay? I'm starting in the back, I'm all pulled, Patch is getting me water, and we're ready to go. Yeah. Like a cat. All right, it is officially all the way raining out here. We got Patrick in rinse mode. This house cleaned up dramatically fast. I'm gonna show you, I took the ladder down already. I've already gone up here and rinsed and done everything I needed to do. Patrick, of course, got some quick video of me being ridiculous. But you can see how nice that came out. Perfect. I've moved the ladder around to the front because we're doing the same thing in the front. Oh, I found a jump rope. Woohoo! Uh oh. Little kid's jump rope. Oh boy. How's that? Oh man. All right, we're out here on the next project. We've been here several times. We've done gutter cleaning here. I think this is at least the third time I'm washing this house. Uh, Patrick's in the rig getting some dry clothes on because it was officially torrentially raining earlier. We are dual feeding here right now. I've got to I've got to take the time to get a correct dual feed setup going here. I've got some ideas how I want to do it. Just got to put it in place. I do need to add another hose reel to the truck if I'm gonna do that and I'm not sure where I want to place that because I don't want to mess up my aesthetic it looks good we don't want to make a mess so I don't know where to add I have a nice aluminum uh, Titan hose reel that's manual we'll find some place for it maybe on the other side of the truck maybe mounted to the cage I'm really not sure but we do need to make this dual feed happen much more easily this deck we're going to refresh, it's aged and greasy. It's gonna be house wash on here and then X-Jet rinse, fan tip rinse on the X-Jet. Crank it all out. It's gonna look real good momentarily. All right, we got Patrick over there in rinse mode. We're getting all crazy here today because it's still slightly raining. Everything's nice and wet and we've soaked three sides. 
the side he's on, the entire back, the dormer side there by the roof, and the garage over by the truck. So Patch is working his way to the truck on rinse mode, and then we're gonna switch, and I'm gonna take over and X-Jet the deck. So the deck has lots of dwell time, should come off real nice, and we'll find out in momentarily. I just want to show you the process or the progress I should say it's much better it's not perfect I know there's better ways to clean wood but as you can see it's cleaner dramatically cleaner than it was all right we're not uh, charging the client for deck restoration you hear me say that all the time but we're charging them for washing so I have washed the deck okay we're going to get into learning more about wood restoration as we progress through the business. I know it is, I don't even know how to pronounce it, sodium mescalate or something like that we could be putting on here. You know, some neutralizers we should be using, stuff like that. But that's the result we have today. Final rinse. Only the front here left to do. Almost 1.15. Next appointment is at two o'clock, so we're on time. Looking good today. We've been riding the edge of this rain all day. I'm hoping it continues to move west a little bit because we got a lot left to do. All right, we're in beautiful Woodstock, Connecticut. We got a pool to do here. We had a little bit of a hiccup, so we had to put 50 feet more of hose because it's about 250 feet away from the house. It's a little bit of improvising, but we made it work. Doing some surface cleaning. Instant results. Check this out. Zoom in on a little if you can. That's in beautiful Woodstock, Connecticut. I want to quote that one. Yeah. One day. I can do that an hour. Hour, Easy. one hour. Easy. More of Joe Deary's epic YouTube videography. The cows coming home. You've heard the saying, not till the cows come home. Well, there they go, they're going home. So you better wrap it up. And I don't know if you can see this, 
who's paying attention, but there's a vulture right there on that post right in the middle. See him? Keeping an eye on things. All right, we got the next project, Little Ranch. We've been here many times. It's one of my annuals. I used to do snow removal here. That's how I got started with my business, doing snow removal and lawn care, saving my money. So I could buy the equipment that I need. So obviously I'm walking this roof, blowing these gutters out. Then we're gonna wash the house real quick. Patrick will be pulling hoses for me while I'm doing gutters. Super efficient, here we go. All right, set up and running on the last project of the day. We got this nice little colonial, just a big square vinyl box. Probably nothing too exciting to see. We'll be washing here in just a moment. Final rinse mode on the last end. M5 in the peak, no problem as usual. This might be it for the day. We're a little long in the day now. Quarter past five. You saw the cows go home already, so we probably ought to wrap it up. We'll see though. We just got a call from a house wash in town, so if it's close and easy, we're gonna do it before we go home. We'll find out in a minute. No, I just looked at the pictures. It's too big of a house. Too late in the day, I know you're very disappointed because you haven't seen enough of what we're doing yet, but you're gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to put it on the schedule and do it another time. Patch's gonna wrap it up. We gotta go home and get some rest, have something to eat, so we can live to play another day. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Mr. Bat doesn't like it. Mr. Bat does not like getting wet and covered with bleach, the poor thing. We're going to leave him be though. This is rinse mode. We'll make sure we get him good and rinsed.